Hello, hello friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make lifestyle and adult coloring videos here on this channel. And today I am doing a super duper exciting video. I am finally getting around to filming my updated coloring book collection. So normally I list all of the books I mention in the description box. And I'm kind of coming to the conclusion that this just isn't going to happen for this video because I'm trying to film it and upload it the same day because um, I said on Instagram that I probably won't get this up till Wednesday, but uh, something hit me today and I'm just in the mood to film, edit, upload. So that's kind of what I'm doing. And I just don't think I want to list all like 70 books I have. I don't know, do I have 70? I don't know, but yes, I figured I would film this for you guys. So excited. Last video I filmed of this coloring book collection was in November. My collection has grown significantly since then, but I don't want to make this intro super long uh, since I already know this video is going to be really, really long. So go ahead, grab a snack, grab some coffee, some, a drink, enjoy yourself, and let's get right into the video. So the first two books I'm starting out with um, actually are books that I'm currently working in right now. So this is Wish You Were Here by Teresa Goodridge. And this was actually a gift from Meg, from Meg's Art Atrium for my birthday, which was really nice of her. This just has some really fun scenery pictures. Um, I can show you guys the picture I'm working on. For the most part, I'm going to try to avoid showing, oops, showing you guys the pictures I'm working on. And I'm not going to go in depth on all of my finished pages, but this is kind of the vibe so far. I don't know how I feel about it. It's been a whip for a while, but yeah, that is Wish You Were Here by Teresa Goodridge. Next, we have Stained Glass Mandala Color by Colors by Kira Shershneva. Again, another book I am currently working in. Again, I'm not going to go through each and every, like, finished page I have in here, but I can show you guys my whip. I know this one will get done before the end of the month, but yeah, that's my whip. Love this book a ton, super fun and relaxing. Next we have 300 Mandalas by Sally Berry. This one is like super hard to flip through, so I'll do my best. It's just super simple mandalas, honestly. Like you could just easily grab a couple like brush alcohol markers and finish these really quickly. I've done a few in here. Um, show you guys a couple that I've done. As I don't flip to any. Yeah, I've done a few in here. Next, I have Spooky Sweets by Carla Magana. Again, I'm trying not to show you guys the pages I did this month, but this was actually a video I did, so I really don't care. Just a bunch of, like, candy kind of pages. A little more Halloween-themed. I love it. I really need more of her books. Well, I don't need them, but I definitely want more of her books. And that is Spooky Sweets. Again, I'm also really sorry that I'm going really quickly through all these books. I just have a lot to get through and I don't want the video to be like insanely long. Uh, but this is Puzzle Animals Color by Colors by Kira Shershneva. Another really fun one, a page I completed a while ago. I guess one I did this month. I'm also definitely like standing up and filming this video because like I feel like I'm just like up and down this entire video because I'm grabbing books and I just didn't want to sit in my chair for this video. Next we have Flowers Stained Glass Color by Number by Kira Shershneva, also a really fun one. This gives me very much so like um, sunlight drawing stained glass vibes. Really a fun book to complete. I feel like there must be a few in here that I've done. Actually, I know for a fact there are. Did that. I've done a lot in here. I really have. Great book. Really recommend it. Next, we have 50 Diamond Mandala Color by Numbers. 50 Diamond Mandalas. I can't talk. By Sachin Sachdeva. Um, he sent me this book for review a while ago, which I really appreciate, and it is just color by number mandalas. Super fun, super simple. 
right, the next book I have is another Softion book. This is Cakes and Candies, Color by Number. This was a gift from the lovely Lauren from Lauren Loves Color. Another page I did this month. I feel like you guys are just going to get a, like, a sneak peek into everything I did this month. Just because I'm accidentally going to flip to them. Uh, but yeah, she sent me this wonderful book for my birthday, which I absolutely appreciate a ton. This was a buddy color with her in this book. Just lovely images, super easy to color. They're very, very simple. Next, we are moving into my Camellia Angelkova books. I think I only have two by her, but this is 101 Unique Mandalas, and this was a birthday gift from Danielle, Danny Buttons. And this just has kind of a compilation of all of her mandala books. And see, like, something like this is really cool because it's not a legit mandala. It's just kind of a circle with a design in the middle, which I think is super fun. And they're just, again, as, like, the title would suggest, super unique. I've really been enjoying this book. Um, I think I colored one in here in May, I believe, so last month when I got it. Just super fun, unique, different mandalas. This is the page I have completed. Not my favorite. I didn't do the best job, but you're learning, you know? Always learning. And this is my first Camellia book. Next, we have Fish 50 Ocean Miniatures by Camellia Angelkova. Again, another birthday gift from Jamie from Jamie Loves Color. This just has a bunch of super cute sea images. sneak peek into what I finished. I actually really like how this one came out. I really am trying to skip the ones I did um, for this month, just I don't really want to spoil it, but I'm gonna end up spoiling majority of them. So yeah, super cute book. I highly recommend any of her miniature. Miniature. I've never said it that way in my life before. And it just came out that way. I would recommend any of her miniature books. Um, I really want to collect them all, but this is so far the only one I have, but it's super cute. I want to get the rest. Next we have Zen Doodle, Color by Number. This is Sea Life by Jeanette Wommel. Um, this book is also really fun. I don't color it in enough because the paper is kind of funky in it. I don't even know really how to explain the paper. Um, but yeah. This is a page I did um, a really long time ago, and I used glitter all over her tail. I'm sure you guys can see that. This is my best friend. <laughs> yeah, I've just kind of done a decent amount in here over the years that I've had it. Again, an entire sea turtle colored in glitter. Cannot go wrong with that. I see a page I did. I think for the majority of these pages I was using water-based markers until I got my alcohol markers and then like for this page I used alcohol markers but the alcohol markers worked really weirdly on this book so um this one was probably water-based markers I think I see streaking like bad streaking next we have another Zen Doodle color by number this is Spring Awakening by Deborah Muller I love this page. Oh my god, I never noticed the frog. I love it. Again, another book that I used to own, well, that I owned for a while, and I used to color this book in college a lot, um, and all I had at that point were Crayola Super Tips, so a lot of these pages are completed in Crayola Super Tips. For those of you guys who have not seen me um, show this book ever, this is Jimothy. He is my best friend also. <laughs> We love Jimothy. If you guys are watching right now, comment down below. We love Jimothy. <laughs> so yeah, I've just done a decent amount in here. I really like how they turn out. I think water-based markers really do work best in here over the alcohol markers, and I'll kind of show you guys what I mean um, with a couple pages. Let's see. This is one done with alcohol markers. I don't know if you guys can tell. I just don't think it looks super good. The marker, it feels weird on here. It's kind of streaky. I don't know. This was also alcohol marker. Like, what the heck is this? Why is there, like, such a clear distinction between the two lines? Or between the line when it's the same color? I don't know. Yeah, I colored that one. Super fun book. 
don't mind me I totally have my Starbucks over here because I got Starbucks today but the next thing that the next book that I have is floral designs color by number by creative haven we're now getting into the creative haven books besides the wish you were here book that I already showed you guys I've done a lot in here too like a lot in here also, I want to know, just while I'm flipping through this, do you guys want to see, so I know in the past I have done um, finished pages per artist video. Do you guys want to see finished pages per artist video or more in-depth, like, finished, finished pages and, like, all my books in one video? Let me know. I'd be really curious. Oh, <laughs> I started this one. This is an unknown whip. I had no idea. Maybe I'll have to finish that eventually. Because right now I'm kind of just skimming through all the pages that I've completed. Like I'm showing you guys a, a lot of them, but it's definitely not all of them. Because I don't want to bore you guys. This video would be really long if I did that. But then if I did like a separate finished pages video. Wow, colored pencil. Again, not really often or ever that I color in colored pencil. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I feel like if I did two separate videos, they would be long, each of them. But... They would each have their own purpose. One of them would just be showing the finished pages and this one's just showing the books with just a skim of the finished pages. If that makes any sense, let me know in the comments. I'd just be interested to know if you guys prefer it by artist or all together. Because this, in my opinion, is not like a finished pages video. It's more of a collection with skimming through finished pages. Next, we have a super cute book and this is Cat's Color by Number by Creative Haven. I actually really like this one. The line work is really faint, so it's kind of hard to see but I love it. I did a lot of these at the beginning of the book, so let's find the beginning. Here we go. Like, look how cute. I love these George Tufexis, um Creative Haven Color by Number books. I'm not sure I said that it was by him, but I love them. I think they turn out so cute. And this book was on a really good sale when I got it. I think it was only like four bucks. So that is what I completed in this book. I think he should come out with a dog's color by number next. I'm just saying. Next we have another super fun book. This is Christmas Color by Number by George Tufexis. Again, super faint line work, but this is one of my completed, so that doesn't really matter. One critique I will say about this book is that some of the spaces don't have numbers, and that makes it a little bit difficult to like know what color to use, but usually I can make it work. Whether or not it's correct. Got another finish. Super cute. I just love this book. Super fun. Next we have all of my Teresa. Actually, nope, that's a lie actually. Okay, we have one Teresa Goodridge, but I have more, but there's one in between that's not her. But this is Romantic Country Scenes. Again, another super fun book of just kind of scenery but more romantic if you will there's a couple in almost every photo i don't think there's a couple in this photo but they're showing like different fun date scenes so super fun look at this i love it another one i did this is kind of another example of the paper i'm not sure i love alcohol marker on it but that's okay. My camera is at two bars and that makes me a little bit nervous so I might have to switch out the battery soon but this is Stunning Succulents by Jessica Mazurkowitz and I like this book but I haven't really colored like much in it but I do like it. It just has a bunch of plants. Succulents you know. This is the only one I've done in here and I actually really like how it came out. I made the jewelry like glitter gel pen and the dress was really easy because I just made it white so like I think it turned out really nice but I think that's the only one I've done in here but super fun book so if you're really into like plants you might like this book might be up your alley now we're moving back into the Teresa Goodridge books this is country farm scenes and again more scenery clearly you guys can kind of tell what I like to color I really like coloring scenery it's fun and interior honestly I like coloring everything there's not really something like that I don't like to color 
patterns. I don't really love coloring patterns unless it's a color by number, and I do have a color by number patterns book that I will end up showing you guys that I really, really love. But yeah, I wouldn't like go out of my way to color patterns necessarily unless it's like one in a book that I really want to finish, which is all of them. I swear one day I'm gonna finish all my books, but then I keep buying more. Yeah, it's a struggle. Alrighty, as for the last of my Creative Haven books, this is Home Sweet Home by Teresa Goodridge. Again, this is, well, this is more interior kind of scenery. I think I've completed one in here, so let's see if I can find it. But again, another super fun book. I wish I pulled it out more. Yeah, this is the page I've done. I love how the dog came out. Like, I wish I could have done more in here. Um, I just get really intimidated by her art. Plus, I don't think I love the way my alcohol markers work on it, so maybe I should try my water-based, but I'm super weird about how I use my water-based markers. I really only use them for my double-sided books. I have this, like, weird thing in my head where, like, I have to use alcohol markers on single-sided books and, um, Crayola Super Tips and, like, Stadler markers on double-sided books. It's bad, but yes, that is the last book. I'm gonna switch out the battery and then we're gonna move on to the next set of books. Well, I hope the angle didn't change too much for you guys, um, but the next set of books I'm showing you guys are all of my Johanna Bassford books. And the first one is Worlds of Wonder by Johanna Bassford, and I'm actually going in order from newest to oldest, I think. Um, this might be a little bit off, but yes, this is kind of how I have them on my shelves. So this is Worlds of Wonder. Now that they're double-sided books, I have to show you guys both sides. <laughs> I love this book, honestly. It is so whimsical and fun and not like her other books, which I love. This is the, one of the pages I completed. I also have another one in here that I love. See, like, another fun book to complete. I don't know, like, I love all my books. I want to complete them all. Oh, is anyone else like that, too, where you're like, I'm going to finish every single one of my books that I own? Because same. It's terrible because I know deep down I can never, but never say never. In the wise words of Justin Bieber, never say never. Next we have World, World of Flowers um, by Johanna Basford, and I've actually completed a good number in here. So let's just start flipping. This was like one of the first pages I completed, if not the first page I completed in this book. This one is just all full of flowers. Don't love how that one came out, but it's all right. I literally spilled a Starbucks drink on this. <laughs> it gives it a uh, character, so no big deal. No big deal. This also might have been the first one I completed. It's between that one and the house. I really don't recall which one I completed first. I completed both of these. I love that one a ton. This one's also really cute. I have one whip in here, but I might have already passed it. Um, oh no, it's right here. I really meant to complete this in like February, and I'm terrible at completing whips, so. Okay, we'll see if we ever get to it. I know I just skipped some. Yeah, it was right here. So yeah, I mean, if I finish it, I do. If it's the last picture I ever complete in this book just to finish it, then that's that, but... Yeah, that is World of Flowers. Next, we have Magical Jungle by Johanna Bassford. And Bassford? Bassword? Is that what I just said? Hmm. Another super fun one. Oh, I forgot that one. Like, some of these are single-sided in the very back. I was trying to figure out why that line work was so light. But yeah, this one has a lot of leaves, but a lot of jungle animals. And it's kind of like a search and find kind of book. And I will show you guys what I mean in a sec. Like I said earlier, I do not plan on linking all of these books down below. It just is not feasible to do so. Um, but all of these books, for the most part, you can find on Amazon US. And as for the airy books I show you guys later, those are the only books that you can only find on like Etsy or Amazon Japan. So yeah, that's my little disclaimer. Um, let me show you guys what I mean. Okay, so yeah, like here there's like hidden things in the book that you have to find so I think that's really fun so it's kind of like a search and find book um 
would be fun one day to try to find them all but yeah that is magical jungle next we have lost ocean also by johanna bassford this is one of my whips this is a book where i'm almost certain i'll never go back to but i like having it because it completes my johanna bassford collection if that makes any sense I mean, just look at the detail in, like, just one of these, you know? It's just crazy. I know I have more whips in here than just that. Um, we'll see if I end up finding them. Like, this is a really fun page. It's just, like, so intimidating, you know? Here's another whip. I think I bought this book freshman year of college, and it was just kind of there, like, as a relaxer, so... Got this double page spread I tried doing. Ultimately did not complete it, but... Again, a really cute book, it's just so detailed. Next, we have Enchanted Forest by Johanna Basford. Probably one of my favorites. So fun. I think I actually skipped one I already did. Yep, it's right here. I use glitter around the edge. I love it. And yeah, this one's just kind of like, like, you know, a fantasy kind of book. Super fun. Some pictures are really simple, some are pretty detailed, like you kind of get a mix of everything in here. Mostly detailed, but you do get some simple stuff. Like this was a really simple one to do and I love how I did the pastels for like the leaves and just made the rabbit like rabbit colored. <laughs> so yeah, that is Enchanted Forest. Last but not least in my Johanna collection, we have Ivy and the Yankee Butterfly. Another one I have completed multiple pages in. Um, will I be able to find any of them is the question. I guess I'll just skip to that since that was sticking out. Super fun. Like, look at some of the detail on this page. Honestly, like one day I want to finish this book in specific because it would be such a fun storybook to like give to my nephew one day, you know? Like, so cute. I just, like, don't know if it's feasible to ever finish this book, but if I worked toward it, I, like, could finish it. I don't know. Should I make that a goal? For 2022, maybe? Or, like, for the next 10 years? <laughs> but yeah, I've done a lot in here. I really have. And I have a more detailed video with my Johanna Basford finishes, so if you guys want to watch that, it's on my channel. Um, look at this. So detailed, but so fun. So yeah, those are just some of the finishes in this book. So just a fair warning that this stack, this next stack, is kind of extreme. This is all of my Color Questopia books. I believe they're all my Color Questopia books. I don't think any of them got mixed up in terms of mixing in with my Sun Life drawing, but let's begin. I think this is more of like newest to oldest again, but I hope that's fine. This is Interior Design Color by Number. Super fun. Also, they come with a lot of, uh, like sample pages. But here we go. Interior design. I've already done two this month in this book because I am just loving it that much. This is so, so fun. Now, this is an easier book to complete than Ivy and the Yankee Butterfly, so take with that what you will. But here's one of the pages I completed. Again, if you're watching this video, then you're getting all the spoilers, but that's all right. That is all right. Next, we have Dazzling Patterns, Color by Number by Color Questopia. I definitely don't have to keep saying the, the artist name, but again, they just have a lot of like sample pages. But here we go in the designs. Again, I don't love designs normally, but I do love Color by Number, which is why I don't mind this at all. In fact, I love it. So again, a book I've done two in already, and I've also filmed a flip through for this book. If you guys are interested in checking it out, it is one of the last videos on my channel and you know what I'm going to avoid my finishes in here so that is dazzling patterns next we have mandala color by number another very fun book again a lot of sample pages and then we get into the mandalas these are just normal standard pretty standard a little I mean they're pretty unique but I mean for color by number you know it's just fun mandalas to color I've been enjoying it. I think I've done a couple in here. Let's see if I can... I think they're at the very beginning and I've done them in the past. So it's not spoiling anything. 
let's see. Oh, I've only done one in here. Really? Oh. I gotta pull this book out more then because apparently I've only done one in here. Next we have Sugar Skulls, Color by Number by Color Questopia. I really don't need to keep saying that, but I do. <laughs> I actually really like getting the sample pages because like there's no easy way to collect all of these books. Um, so it's nice to just have extras of like random books. But yeah, these are again really fun. Super cute. A little scary, but mostly cute. I think in this one I've done two. Let's see, shall we? Yeah, okay, we've done this. I want to say I did this last month, possibly. And then we got this one. Next we have Autumn, Black Background, Color by Number, by Y'all Already Know. <laughs> This one is a cute book. Again, sample pages, and then, actually, I did um, the space, space one. Love it, I absolutely love how it came out. And I think I've done one or two in here. Done that one for sure, super cute. Honestly, I would color these books any time of year. It does not need to be fallout to color fall photos. If that's the inspiration you needed to hear today, then perfect because I feel like a lot of people are stuck in a bubble of well it's spring or actually it's summer now it's summer so I cannot color in my fall books it's just not true life's too short to not color in the books you want to color in so go ahead pull out that fall book and do that coloring right now I'm an inspirational speaker now but this is horror and nightmare creatures black background by color questopia as I keep flipping to just these there we go, that's a sample page. This one's really fun. I keep saying that about all the books, but I really like this one. I'm also really glad I decided to stand for this video and not sit. Yeah, I've done quite a few in here. Very creepy, but I love it. Next we have Dream Big Shine Bright Black Background. Um, as you guys can tell, I started collecting the black background books after a few of the white backgrounds because I just prefer them. Um, they're just easier because I end up doing the background in black anyways. Okay, those were sample pages. I think this is the only page I've done pretty recently. But yeah, if you like inspirational quotes, you would like this book. I'm only laughing because I feel like it's a funny time to pull up this book since I was just saying I'm an inspirational speaker. <laughs> I have come to the conclusion that the amount of Color Questopia books I have is just kind of sad. I have so many of them. But this is Halloween Horror, uh, one of my favorites. How many times have I said that for these books? Let me know. Um, this is a white background book, so let me kind of show you guys how I, or what I do for these white background books once I come across one of my finishes. Okay, yeah, I think, so basically I just take a black, like, thin sharpie, and I just color in the outline, and then I color in the photo. And that's all I do. So we got that one. And we have that one, and I actually left around the bats white because otherwise, I don't know, they wouldn't just wouldn't have looked like bats, probably. Or they just would have been thicker bats. <laughs> thicker bats, but yeah. Yeah, that is Halloween horror. Maybe I should color in this soon. Again, it's not Halloween time, but who cares? I really love this book. Next we have You Are Loved, and this is um, another color questopia, of course. Who else would it be? I've also kind of come to the conclusion that on camera it's a lot harder to see the white background pictures than it is the black. I mean, for obvious reasons, but... Oh, I have a page marked in here, but it's not because I completed it this month. <laughs> it's because I was supposed to color it in spring for my, um, let's see. Oh my gosh, which page is it? 
I was supposed to complete this page in spring for my um, spring pages I want to complete video and that just never happened so this is the page I've completed I did it for florals in February which was my hashtag back in February right now I have a hashtag going on with Emily from color me impressed uh, it is airy airy expedition 2021 for the rest of the year and that's that book okay next up we have gnome color by number color questopia of course who else this is a sample page I completed Now we get into the gnomes. I think gnomes are cute. My parents think they're kind of creepy. Do you guys like gnomes? Do you think they're creepy? Let me know. Again with the black sharpie in the background. You know when I first started coloring these books I told myself I'm never doing the line work and then I bought some black sharpies and I went never mind I'm doing all the line work. Uh, now I'm glad I only have a few of the white background because I, I much prefer the black. I gravitate towards those more. Next up, we have creative movie posters. Again, more sample pages. Oops. There we go. This one's super fun. I really should just get it in black background, but... Or I just, you know, fill in the lines. It's just not my favorite thing to do. I feel like you need to be super in the mood for it. I don't know. I know I've done one in here, so let me find it. Right here, I did the Matrix. I mean, I love how it came out. I think it turned out really nice. Okay, guys, we're on the last Color Questopia book. And this is Witch Fantasy by Color Questopia. This one is one of their more detailed, like one of their first books they came out with that's more detailed in terms of the color by number. The line work in here would just be crazy, but I have done it. I'll show you guys. But yeah, like if I were to repurchase the book now, like I'd get it in black just so I wouldn't have to worry about the line work. But if I'm really looking for a challenge one day, like this is what I'll do. Like I'll, I'll go for this. It's the only one. Yeah, it's the only one I've done. And this one wasn't even that bad in comparison to some of these, like, yeah. I just feel like they get really complicated. But that is the last Color Questopia book. Do I have enough of them? Probably not. I'm kidding, I definitely do. Okay, so we have my one Deborah Muller book that is not a color by number, and this is the only one I own, but I really want more because they're super fun. This is Fall Friends by Deborah Muller. And it's just a bunch of super cute fall pictures, like fall-inspired. Um, so I've done that one. Really like how this one came out. <laughs> They're all super cute. Such a fun book. Alrighty, next up, I believe we have all of my Sun Life drawing books. I do not have many of them. In comparison to Color Questopia, this is like nothing. But this is Sun Life drawing, 40 coloring pages. So basically, this book is just a compilation of all of their other books. They took one image from each book that they had out at the time. And since then, I think there are newer books. I mean, I know there's at least one, probably more did this one it's a wolf and it looks so much better on camera than it does in person wow so yeah it just has a nice mix of things done a decent amount in here I've done that I think. oh never mind I've done that the unicorn so fun It's flipping to pages where you don't even see anything. I did Pikachu. So yeah, just like really fun pages. And I love that you get a taste of all their books in here. Next we have Mermaids, Stained Glass, Color by Number. And why there is a mint tag in here, I'm not really sure. But I've done a page in here this month. This book is also really fun. This was a gift from Emily from Color Me Impressed here on YouTube for my birthday. Thank you so, so much, Emily. I've literally been like zooming through this book. I think I have four done already. 
so super fun. Again, I might accidentally flip to a page I've done. Actually, I think it's right there, so I'm gonna try to avoid it. No, actually, that wasn't it. Oh well. This is oh not the page I've done this month. I've done that one. That's the page I've done this month. Oh, and you know what? The other page that's marked with a mint tab is also one I've done. So yeah, that's mermaids. Next we have World of Mice, stained glass, color by number, by Sun Life Drawing. I think, I, yeah, I've done a page in here this month too. It just comes with a few sample pages in the back. The same as in the Sun Life Drawing um, other like 40 pages book. So I've done a lot in here. I'm just going to do a really quick flip, not from here, because that's the page I've done, but from here, just going to kind of do a quick flip of everything I've done. Because, yeah, I've done every page up to here, I believe. This is a book I wanted to complete in 2021. It still could happen. Not as likely anymore since I've been more into other color by number books, um, but it can still happen. Clearly I've done a good job in here so far in terms of going through it. <laughs> so yeah, like I've, I've made it up to there in this book, so I've been doing pretty good in here. Next we have Flower Animal, Flower Animals Color by Number by Sun Life Drawing. And this is basically just a super simple color by number. Um, yeah, just super simple. And some of them come on black background and some of them on white. I know I have some in here that I've done. Let's see. Oh boy, we like skipped through all of them. Let's find them again. Here we go. Do a quick flip of them all. So yeah, again, another one I've done a decent amount in. Not nearly as much as the World of Mice, but yeah, I've done some in here. I actually haven't worked in this book in a few months, but I might pull it back out because it's super simple. Doesn't take long to complete a page at all. Alrighty, last but not least for Sun Life Drawing, we have Animal Quest Baby, color by number. And this one's hard to show you because they're just kind of all um, hexagons. So what I will do is just flip to the ones I've done, which is only one. This is the only one I've done. And it's just a fun horse. I love it. I love these books. I just feel like they take so long to complete a page, so I never do them, but yes, I did that one. We are slowly getting to the end, I think. I feel like there's gonna be like 30 more minutes left now that I say that, but next up we have Jade Summer Books, and I only have a few of their books, and this is Greatest Hits, 100 Best Coloring Pages by Jade Summer. Again, one of those compilation kind of books that just kind of takes a little bit of everything, puts it into one book. I've done a few in here. I've learned I don't really love Jade Summer line art as I do their grayscale. I like that picture, how it came out. There's just so much in here. Basically, they just took one picture from each book, stuck it in here. I did that all in glitter gel pen, and that was tedious. Never again. Never again. Yeah, lots of fun pages in here. Next we have a book I have completed quite a bit in, and this is Chibi Girls Grayscale by Jade Summer, two books in one. And I've done a boatload of buddy colors in here, so I'm unsure if I can actually name off everybody I did one with. This was in Nick with Nikki and Niagara. I know that for a fact. This one I did on my own. This was with Jamie. This was with Danielle, so apparently I do remember. <laughs> but yeah, just like super fun grayscale pages of chibis. Another one with Danielle. This was on my own. This was, I believe, with Nikki again, actually. Huh, I really thought I only did one body color with her, but yeah, I guess it was two. This was with Shayna. This was with Cassie, Potato Princess. 
So yeah, I have just done so many buddy colors in this book. Next up, we have Kawaii Grayscale Coloring Book, and I know for a fact all of the buddy colors I've done in here are with Danielle. So, like this one. I think that's when I first got my Cali Art Markers, and I was really excited because they were brush markers, and I found that brush markers work really well on this paper, or on this, like, book. Let me just point out that I did this, I colored this picture tipsy, and it turned out nice. <laughs> Another one I did with Danielle. But yeah, I've actually done a decent amount in here also. I think another one I did with her. Yeah, I've done a lot of buddy colors with her. So yeah, that is Kawaii Grayscale. Next up, we have Light and Dark Fantasy by Jade Summer Grayscale, and I have not done much in here. I think I've done one page. I like this book kind of intimidates me. Uh, the art's really pretty. Um, yeah, I just have not done a lot in here. Yeah, the art's beautiful, honestly. I feel like I'm always unsure on what to color anything, which is why I don't really dive into it. Also, if you've made it this far in the video, comment the word dragon because I feel like I want to know who's really sticking around because this is a long video. I already know it's going to be long. I've been filming for at least an hour. So that is Light and Dark Fantasy Grayscale. Next, we have all of my April Amber books. And again, this is kind of going in backwards order since this is how I'm grabbing them off my shelf. But this is Chibi Girls Volume 3 by April Amber. And I'm actually intentionally going to skip um, my page I did this month because it was actually a split color that I did with one of my friends that I'm really excited to show you guys in my finished pages video, but I'm gonna ignore it for now. That being said, I have done quite a few on my own that I'm going to attempt to find. I've done that. I feel like this is when my Cali Arts were at their prime juiciest. <laughs> And I just feel like they're not as juicy anymore. This was a buddy color with Danielle. And yeah, that's all I have completed in the third volume. And now we have volume two. I love these little chibis a lot. They're super fun to color. I think I've done a couple in here. Yeah, I've done this one. I have not done a ton in here, though. I did that one, Cinderella. And then the last April Amber book I have is Volume 1. Again, sorry, this was not in the correct order. If I can flip to my finishes. Oh, I saw one. I went right past it. There we go. I did that one. Love it, love it. That was another buddy color with Danielle. Fun fact, this was our first buddy color, and that is when my Posca pen was at its prime also. My Posca pen has seen better days, but it turned out so good there. It looks terrible now. It's kind of gross now. I did this cowgirl, and that is my April Amber collection. Okay, now we are moving into all my Hannah Lynn books, and this is Fairy Tale Princesses and Storybook Darlings. I have not done much in here, if I'm being honest. Also, I had no idea this picture existed. Oh, that's cute. Oops, I hit the camera. So I have done, I think, two in here, and one of them was a buddy color with Cassie. Let's see if I can pull it up right here. Hers turned out beautiful, might I just add. Like, mine could never compare. Hers was gorgeous. And I know I've done one more in here, but I don't know where it is. 
I love this book. I love Hannah Lynn. It just like is so much detail in her pages that like makes me never want to color it, but like I should just get over myself and color it. Next we have Whimsy Girls at Work and let's see what I've done in here. I've done a few. This one's super fun because this book comes with a more detailed version of the page and then it comes with a more okay just kidding that was the simple version this is the detailed so more simple more detailed which I love also filming this video was really inspiring me to start coloring again like I have been but like now I really just want to color but I'm gonna finish filming edit this video and upload it right away I hope editing doesn't take forever but I have a feeling it might but I'm really hoping I can get this video up um, the day you guys are watching. The day you guys are watching it. Well, you guys are watching it the day it's up. Um, no, I I want to get it up on today's Saturday, June 25th, I think. To June 26th. I want to get it up today. But anyways, this is this book. Okay, last Hannah Lynn book I have is Whimsy Girls Through the Decades. I've done this one but yeah like I was saying I want to get this video up today the day I'm filming it um, I know I said on Instagram I wasn't gonna upload it till Wednesday but again something hit me and I was really in the mood to film so here I am and I'm glad I decided to because this is kind of a pain in the booty to film but it's fun but yeah going through all your books like when you have a lot of them puts into perspective a lot of things not that I need more books. I tried using glitter gel pen in the stars and that turned out terrible. Absolute bad idea. <laughs> you guys know we are getting into the end of the video when I pull out Hannah Lynn. We have Hannah Lynn, Maria Trolle, some airy books, and a couple other um, more formal, formal is not the right word, more like nicer books that we gotta go through. But I'm gonna be going in backwards order again of release date with these books, but Start out with Spirit Animals by Hannah Carlson. Should really move these out of the way. Ooh, I hit the camera. This video is clearly becoming more and more of a mess. <laughs> the more I film. Not that I'm anxious to be done with it, but like a little bit anxious to be done filming. Because it's kind of a lot. But I love this book. It is so fun. This was a buddy color, a two page buddy color with Emily. Hers came out so pretty. This is another book I would love to complete. I actually think I had it in my 10 books to complete video um, for 2021. But yeah, no, it's just not happening. Definitely not. Eventually, though, I'd like to finish it. And that is Spirit Animals. Then we have jewelry box I like I like this book but it's not my favorite um probably my least favorite out of her books just because like how do you color jewelry I don't really know I just kind of color it in glitter gel pen and hope for the best I think I saw Kate from Kate's Coloring Haven do that picture, or it was another clock picture. So pretty. This was, this was fun. It was my first one. I think I was really proud of it at the time, but now I'm kind of looking back on it and going, oh, not my favorite, but you grow, you know? You grow as a colorist. Next up, we have Seasons by Hannah Carlson, and I know there's another tab in here, and that's from, um, again, that video I wanted to film. Or that I filmed, but I wanted to color spring pictures. I never really did. But. Really like how this one came out. This was my first time using my Statler markers. Ooh, hello, we missed one. We might have actually missed two, but that's okay. I know I have a whole video going through all my Hannah Carls on finished pages, so I'm not too worried if I skip any on here.
This was the first one I completed in this book. Next, we have Magical Dawn. I feel like my voice is like finally like leaving my body. Like it's finally going. It's getting a little bit raspy at this point. That's okay. We're gonna finish off this video strong. We're getting there. We're getting so close. So close yet so far. <laughs> Again, I really do enjoy filming these. It just kind of takes a lot to film this kind of video. Luckily, the editing process isn't as bad because I don't do a lot of cuts besides cuts between um, grabbing another book. Um, those are the only cuts I really do, so I don't really even watch the video before I upload it. I usually don't say too stupid stuff, too much stupid stuff that I have to edit out. Otherwise, I'll make a mental note of it, but yeah, I actually really like this one. And that is Magical Dawn. Next, we have Summer Nights. So, fun fact, I actually, I not, did not really get into adult coloring too much um, until quarantine started. And I bought a lot of these books last summer. So a lot of them are finally hitting their one year birthday of being in my collection. <laughs> So yeah, I did not buy these books as they came out. Um, now I'm starting to buy them more like that since I kind of have all the books I want from collections, but if that made any sense. I'm not sure if it did. Used a bunch of glitter on this. So this actually is not the last Hannah Carlson book I own, but I don't or my Tales from the Midnight Masquerade is farther in my collection, so that'll be shown in a little bit. But this is Daydreams, and this was the first book she ever published, I think. I'm almost certain. And just gorgeous, honestly. This book had a few pages that were, like, finished drawing this, and um, I'm glad she finally decided not to do that anymore. So I'm not the biggest fan of those kind of pages, but some people are. I know Kirby has a book that's like that but this book has a lot of detail. Like this one's probably one of her more detailed like zen doodly kind of books that I've noticed, but it's gorgeous. <clears throat> I've seen some beautiful finishes in this book, like from other people. Just kidding, later meant a minute later. This is Tales from the Midnight Masquerade by Hannah Carlson, her newest book, but not really her newest book, newest book in the US, but not newest book everywhere else. Um, Tales from the Midnight Masquerade, she has a new one coming out in the US in August, I think Tales from the Forest Kingdom, which you bet your booty I'm gonna pick up because it's so much fun. I've actually done a decent amount in this book. I did one this month that I have already skipped over because I can't spoil them all, right? Only can spoil a few. Did both of these. I was convinced I'd finish this book one day. I still might, actually. Take a shot every time I said, I'm gonna finish this book. You would not have a fun time. <laughs> yeah, really fun book. Kind of reminded me of a storybook in a way. I really like it. Next, we have My Prized Possession, and this is Luna by Maria Trolle. Now, let me show you guys why it's my prized possession. It's because she signed it. I won it in a giveaway, and she she signed it, and this is the Swedish edition. I got it back in November, and I got it before, before everybody else in the United States could get it. I felt special. I feel like I was the only person. Like, I probably was one of the first people in the United States to get this book. <laughs> Literally because I want to give away by random. Like, I don't even understand how that happened. But yeah, this book, just like similar to her other books, just have a lot of floral pages. Um, I did this one. A lot of florals, a lot of scenery, um, some ocean pages somewhere in here. Not sure if I'll end up flipping to them. It's a little smaller than her other books, but still cute nonetheless. And these books actually have a plant registry in the back, which 
I will show you guys with the next book. Okay, so next we have Flora, and let me show you guys the plant registry in the back of the book. I think this is the bug registry. Um, but yeah, it just comes with a plant registry, so, because she actually takes inspiration from plants and draws them. So if you want to color it in realistically, you can. But... This book is so gorgeous. I did this page a while ago. <clears throat> oh my god, why do I never pull out this book anymore? I'm gonna color in it, I am. <laughs> Just absolutely stunning work. I think I've done more in there than that, but yeah, that is Flora. Okay, oh, I gotta take a breather, but this is Botanicum <laughs> by Maria Trolle. And another absolutely stunning book. Again, you just can't go wrong, honestly. If you don't know which Maria Trolle book to get, like, you, you would not go wrong with any of them. However, my favorite is probably Nightfall, um, which is my next book I'm going to show you guys. Is this a finished page? It is. To that page. This is Nightfall, and this is probably my favorite out of the Maria Trolle books I have. I think it's because it has more black background pages. Um, so let me see if I can flip to one in a minute. Yeah, so like these pages are black background. Um, it just makes it easier to color since you don't have to worry about the background. I did this one and it also makes your colors really pop, which I love. So yeah, out of the five Maria Trolley books I have, this one's definitely my favorite, but like you cannot go wrong with any of them. They're all very similar in my opinion, so just take your pick and you will not be disappointed if this is the kind of stuff you like. My voice is so going. <laughs> it's going away. Oh boy. I'm glad we're almost done because I cannot wait to just sit and edit this. But that is Nightfall. Okay, last Maria Trolle book we have and the last hardcover book I have is Twilight Garden. This was the first book she came out with. And this one, fun fact, does not have any animals in it. This is a book just full of plants. So if you're into that, you would love this. I have done a few in here, I think. Not entirely sure which ones, but... I mean, it's fun because this is like in the shape of a mandala, which is so cool. And this is kind of patterny, like wallpapery. So if you're into that kind of stuff, you might like this book. So I guess there is a small distinction between this and, um her other books. Um, however, the other ones I showed you are pretty similar. Um, this is probably the most different. Again, for my florals in February, hashtag. Ooh, I saw one. I did this bird with the eggs. I really still want to do this one day. I was telling you guys in a vlog a while ago that I really want to do this page. I just need to do it. I did this. And that is all of my Maria Trolle books. Okay, friends, like I keep saying, we're getting really, really close to the end. Thank you guys so much for sticking along thus far. If you've even made it this far, I really appreciate you. But we are moving into the couple of Lulu Mayo books I own. And this is A Million Cute Animals by Lulu Mayo. And this was a gift from Shayna, from Shayna and Colorland for my birthday. Thank you, girl. It's so cute. I've done a few in here. I also have a buddy color in here that I don't think I've completed yet. No, I definitely haven't. This was before I decided I'm done with buddy colors for the time being, and that's, that still holds true. I'm still not in the best mind space to be doing buddy colors. Um, hopefully soonish. In the future, I can be back on that. But for now, still not doing them, unfortunately. Like, aren't these pictures so cute? Aren't they so cute? Is he playing the trumpet? playing the trumpet there are flowers coming out of the trumpet I love it I love it so much and then the other Lulu Mayo book I have is a million unicorns and this was from Danielle 
again so cute and I know I've done one one in here so basically the, this artist just takes like scenes and sticks animals in them like whatever the book is themed off of and it looks so cute so fun so fun I know I have a page done in here somewhere um I think it was at the very beginning yeah I did this last month I think and those are all of my Lulu Mayo books okay so I have 14 minutes left on my camera to film uh, that's how much space I have left on my uh, SD card so I'm gonna try to go through these books a little bit quickly but this is fairy tales by Aerie we're moving into my Aerie books I absolutely love Aerie literally one of my favorite artists and this is just a bunch of fairy tales like fairy tale pictures I have done a few in here like look at this oh, this is a book I want to complete <laughs> I knew saying that I would laugh at myself oh this is the page I did this month um I don't hate it I'm not sure I love it either but that's okay again sometimes you get those kinds of pages but yeah I've done this one that I love let's see I know I've done one more yeah this is another one I've done and this is one of those books that I got off of Amazon Japan so that's where you would have to order this book and the next couple I'm going to show you next we have World Heritage by Aerie I've only done one in here because this book is so detailed um but again a book I love see if I can find it I know the one page I did in here is a buddy color with Emily um like, look at this it's gorgeous but like oh, so intimidating but yeah this book is so cute you cannot go wrong with any airy book honestly this is the page I completed And then the last book that you can get only on Amazon Japan or Etsy is Romantic Country the Third Tale. Tell me why they do not sell this on the US Amazon anymore. I think that is BS. I think that's stupid. I think that's so stupid. But I own it now so. I mean I hope they bring it back but at least I have it so I don't really need to worry about that anymore. And I've done one page in here and it was a buddy color with Danielle. Oh, I really want to do this page so bad this is the page I did with Danielle it's funny because I didn't know what they were doing and she was like they're making wine like they're squishing grapes and I said oh they're not just playing in the grapes <laughs> and that is romantic country the third tale next we have romantic country the second tale This was um, purchased from Amazon US. I believe you can still get it. I've done a couple in here. This one's really fun. I did this double page spread, one of my only completed double page spreads. And that's because that one's not super detailed. This is like probably the simplest page in the book. I'm sorry I'm going through this so fast. I just want to make sure I don't need to like export anything and then finish filming like two books because that would be ridiculous. And yeah, this is another page I've done. I think that's it in this book that I've done. You guys guessed the last book and that is Romantic Country The First Tale. I've done a lot in here. Um, let's see which ones I end up flipping through or flipping to. I did this one around Christmas time actually. Halloween one. This was one of the first pictures I did in here, but not the first. I did this one. <laughs> I did this one. Like I said, I've done a lot in here. I just love Aries artwork so much absolutely gorgeous oh, hello I did this one 
added this one. That was the first one I did in here. That. Yeah, I did a lot in here. Alrighty, friends, we are down to our last five books, and I have nine minutes to film this. So, this is Beauty of Horror 4 by Alan Robert. I love this book because it's movie themed, and so it has a bunch of movies. Not, ooh, I hit the camera. Not even just like a scary movie, though. Like, there's a Toy Story picture in here, Finding Nemo. So fun. Alan Robert is known for like spooky horror pictures. Chucky killed Woody. It definitely still haunts me, but that's okay. Um, I did this. I did this. Just a really fun book. I love his books. I really want to collect them all. Unfortunately, I only have two of them. Okay, the next one I have is Beauty of Horror 3 uh, by Alan Robert. And this is more like carnival themed. Um, so let's see. So this one is just more carnival themed. His books are also known for being really detailed, um, which I like. Just sometimes is intimidating, you know, but I did this whack a soul picture. <laughs> Knock him dead. Oh, too funny. I think his newest book that he's coming out with is actually actually movie themed, which is super cool. did this double pager I actually did this at two different times I didn't do it at once but yeah again really fun book if you're into horror I highly suggest Alan Robert next we have Kirby Rosanis's new book newest book and this is Fragile World and it's just so pretty it just has a bunch of endangered animals in it and um, animals that are kind of going extinct and it kind of just brings light. This is a page I did this month. I'm sorry, Meg. I know I didn't tell you I finished it, oh, but I finished it. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm terrible. This was a buddy color with Meg this month, and I never messaged her that I completed it. Um, But yeah, it's just, it's bringing light to the animals that are extinct or going extinct. It makes me sad, but the pictures are stunning. Let's see if I can find the other page I did. Right here. The frogs. So yeah, super duper fun. Next we have Kirby's first book in this kind of collection, and this is Worlds Within Worlds. And basically it's just objects inside of objects, or things inside of things. Which is heckin' cool. Again, I'm really sorry I'm flipping so fast. I'm trying to get this over with in the amount of time I have. And I think I've only done one page in here. But I really want to do this page. I've seen a lot of beautiful completed of that page, but this is the page I have done. Use glitter, Crayola Super Tips, whole nine yards. And that is Worlds Within Worlds. I cannot believe we have made it to the end and the very last book. This this was an eternity of filming, but this is Fairy Tales by Emily Lita Hall Oberg. Such a pretty book. Such a pretty book. I have not pulled this out all year. I don't know what's wrong. I need to do it. But it's really folky, um, folk style, and kind of zendoodly to an extent. Um... But really pretty. It just, it takes a lot of effort for me to color one page, so I usually steer away from it, but I love it. One of my favorites, though. Like, the artwork is gorgeous. I did this page. What else have I done in here? I've done this. She also has another book called Sagarok Sagner, but I was not in the coloring community when that book came out, so I unfortunately never bought it, and now it's out of print for probably forever, so yeah, I'm never getting that book. Um, but that is fairy tales, and that is it for today's video. My voice is completely gone now, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to give you guys another word. Um, let me know the word um, brother.
I guess, down below. If you guys made it this far, I cannot imagine anyone really watched to the end because this was probably way over an hour. I don't even know. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. I'm a good time. I upload a lot of adult coloring videos and vlogs and lifestyle stuff and you will not regret subscribing. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.